Hey guys, Mike here from the Sim Racing Den. Welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick video, an overview, as well as a review and my thoughts on the SimCore pedal faces that I have here installed on my Hoysenvelt Ultimate Plus pedals. Now, these pedal faces um, were originally designed, I think, for replacing the stock pedal faces that are on the SimiCube Active pedals. Now, not all of us are fortunate to have a set of act uh, Active pedals, um, but they also have adapters now to install these uh, pedal plates on either the Hoysenvelt Sprints or Ultimates, or also uh, Asetek pedals, including the Invicta or the La Primas, um, and then as well as the, the VRS pedals. So they support, you know, a number of, I would say, some of the most popular pedal sets on the market, but obviously they're not going to fit every single pedal. So, you know, I'm really impressed actually so far uh, with these. I've been using these now extensively for the last few weeks um, on, on these pedals. And, you know, I never had a, a huge issue, let's say, with the stock pedal plates, but they definitely weren't the most comfortable and they're definitely on the smaller side. So... I didn't really know how much I was going to appreciate something like this till I tried it. And now that I've that I have these installed and tried them, there's no way I could go back. Like the just these honestly these pedal plates are just so much more comfortable and enjoyable to use. But let's go over some of the features first and then I'll talk about my impressions and driving with these. So first things first, the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is the the footprint so to speak is a lot bigger than the stock stock pedal plates, right? So they they give you more uh, space for your foot, especially the brake pedal. Uh, this is a much wider brake pedal than the than the stock one that's installed. Um, they actually do sell an even wider one than this and a wider throttle if you if you wanted something like that. So I know that would make sense for maybe people that are just using a two pedal system. I also have the the clutch installed, so you know having a wider uh, brake than this would kind of create an issue in terms of space on my on my pedal deck but honestly um, i would say with this size brake it's perfect my foot my foot has now a little more, more space and it's just easier to modulate the brake when you feel like you have you know your full foot on the brake basically uh, or covering the surface of the pedal uh, and same with the throttle i just feel like i have more control now because i can modulate the throttle a little bit better now the surface of these, this is like a black anodized aluminum, you know, like everything that Simcor makes, it's just super high quality, super well made, all the edges are rounded. I mean, it's just, you know, really great craftsmanship in my opinion. Um, everything that comes out of Simcor, I've, I've been impressed with and, you know, these pedal faces are, are just uh, an example of that. Now I also have the, the foot rest installed on here as well, which I just recently got. Um, just because I felt that I wanted to give them a shot and it might be a little more comfortable, especially when you're doing longer races to be able to slightly rest your foot, you know, let's say on the throttle, especially, or uh, on the brake when you're on a straight, you can just, you know, rest, rest your foot to the side. Um, and I like how that these, these foot rests don't have any holes or anything in the side here. I've tried foot rests, let's say from, uh, Ace Attack actually on the Invictas, but they never felt comfortable to me because my toes would kind of get stuck in the grooves that were on the side. Now these are completely solid, so your foot can just rest up against them. Now the surface here, it's not a, a super grippy surface by any means, um, but if you're wearing uh, shoes, I don't think you'll have any issue. I've tried this with uh, with shoes as well, especially like racing shoes, like the Sparco Hyper Grips that I have. Um, no issues with grip on the pedal and a little bit of, um, you know, there's a little bit of uh, ability to modulate the throttle you know, it's not super sticky. Now with socks, um, they're definitely quite slippery with socks, though I found it actually fine just using normal socks. But then I also use my uh, Maradness socks, which have the rubber grips on them. And this this isn't another plug for Maradness socks, but they do offer some extra grip and make it more comfortable, obviously. But, you know, I tried it with both sets of socks, right? So no issues with Maradness socks. Uh, you know, you get a little more grip, obviously, with those. But these were super comfortable to use with socks and actually that was one of the main reasons why i switched the pedal plates from the default ones because you know the default ones were just not very comfortable with socks at all just because for me personally they had holes in the uh in the faces so it just didn't feel you know great on on your feet but with these because they're a smooth surface um they just feel way more comfortable there's just something about having the, the bigger size pedal that just, I don't know, it just gives you more, 
at least for me, it gave me more of a sense of confidence in terms of controlling the pedal. I just felt like the default ones were just too small for my feet. And with these, I just feel more confident driving and just ultimately more comfortable. And you know, these things are very subjective. So obviously, you know, you're gonna have to take that with a grain of salt because your experience obviously might differ. But I would say if you are not happy with the current stock plates, then these are a great option for sure. I know there's other options on the market, obviously uh, from HRS, which is another popular option that I think people go to. Um, I personally just gravitated towards SimCore on these just because personally, I like the design of these. They're very uh, minimal looking. Um, they don't, you know, stand out very much. They kind of blend in. They almost look like they could have came with these pedals just based on the design. It's very simple. So I could see these blending in well with as well as the Asetek pedals or the Hoisinvelt pedals that I have here. And obviously they look great with the SimiCube Active pedals. Um, and they come in different colors too, right? Obviously I just went with black just because I don't want to have too much going on in terms of colors on my rig. You know, I considered going with red, but I just thought it might be a little bit too overkill on the pedals. So that's kind of the features, the build quality. Um, you know, the thickness of the, the pedals uh, is a lot thicker than the, um, the stock one as well. But let me just turn these around. I'm gonna show you how the adapters work and how much adjustability you get with this. So some SimCore came out with some really like kind of, you know, ingenious kind of ways of, of designing these. So you can see here on the back, this adapter gets installed basically onto the pedal. And then this uh, pedal face just slips onto that. And then you basically tighten these two screws here. And then it allows you to adjust the pedal up and down. So once the adapter is installed, then you can just put the pedal face onto the adapter and then adjust from there. It actually makes it a lot easier to adjust the pedal face height than when you use the default pedals. Because as you know, if you own these pedals, the default, to change the default height, you've got to unscrew these bolts and then move the pedal up and down and then adjust where these screws are, which is kind of difficult to do, especially once the pedals are already on your rig. Because I know for me, it's very tricky to get behind there. And, you know, I have dropped these these um, these nuts many times trying to adjust the pedal height, but now what's great with these is that you would just adjust these screws here and that would allow you to just slide the, the pedal face up and down. So it's just a lot easier to do and it's easy to do with the pedals already on your rig as well. Now keep in mind, you can also adjust the adapter height as well. You know, the same way you would adjust the pedal, like the default pedal faces, you can move the adapter up and down using the three holes that are on, on these pedals already. Um, or I just kept it in the center position and then adjust the pedal face from there, right? So you've got like tons of adjustability, almost more than what you might have with the, with the stock pedal faces, to be honest. Now with the um, footrest, it's really simple. There's already holes built into the pedal plate that allows you to install the footrest where you want it. And then it slides, there's grooves here. So you would just slide it in and out adjusting to where you find it comfortable for your foot and then tighten them in place. So it's really simple, just well thought out design and everything fits really well together as well. And yeah, it just, you know, it's really easy. Even adjusting the footrest with the pedals already on my rig is extremely simple to do because everything's still attached and it's just a matter of sliding pedals up and down versus having to take a washer or a nut off and then put it back on, which you know is tricky to do. So yeah, very cool. Um, like I said, the the pedal faces themselves are a lot thicker than the stock ones. And yeah, so that is the um, throttle and brake. Now I also have the, um, the clutch here too. Obviously the clutch pedal is just like a small, slightly smaller uh, design as well. And the clutch I believe just comes in one size, but with the, the brake and the throttle, you have the choice of the uh, standard size or the, the wider options of each. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Like, I mean, there's not much I can say about uh, pedal faces, but I would say if, you know, you're looking for an upgrade for your pedals, um, this is definitely something that I found worth it. Now, the cost of these, depending on where you are in the world, this is could be, you know, could get expensive in terms of shipping and customs and stuff like that. So the brake pedal face is $38 US alone. And then the throttle is $36 and the clutch $35. So it can add up when you are ordering, let's say all of the pedals. And then when you add the footrests, which are, you know, an additional, let's say $32 uh, to order those as well. 
Um, I would probably suggest if you do want the footrest, you can order them separately, but it's probably best to order it um, with, the, with the pedals when you purchase them. And as well, one thing to mention to you, you can actually attach two footrests, footrests at the same time, if you wanna be able to you know, rest your foot in between. I personally find just having one is fine to rest my foot one side or the other. So obviously when you start to add in all these additional things, it's gonna cost a bit more money, obviously. Now, if you just have a brake and a throttle pedal, then you know the cost might be fine. So yeah, and then the wider variants um, cost a bit more. So let's say with the brake, the wider brake is $47. Um, and the wider throttle would come in around, uh, what are we looking at here? $45, right? So um, yeah, take a look at the measurements and then you can kind of decide whether you need the wider pedals. Like I said, I personally find this fine for my feet. And I'll show you a video here just of me using the pedals so you can see like my feet are about, I don't know, 10 and a half, size 10 and a half. And I have no problems with the size of these pedal faces. And I really like the grooves as well on the brake, um, just gives you a little bit more grip and just kind of texture feeling, but it doesn't, you know, it's not something you feel through your socks or feels uncomfortable. Like I said, these are actually way more comfortable to use than the stock pedal faces, They're even more comfortable to use than my um, older Ace Tech Invicta pedals that I used to use before I switched over to these. So yeah, I mean, obviously I highly recommend these. Uh, you'll have to decide if it's worth the money for yourself. I personally think it was a great upgrade to these pedals. You know, these pedals are already uh, amazing and these have just kind of taken them up a notch personally for me because I would say the only thing that I kind of had an issue with was the pedal plates themselves. So, um, you know, if you're happy with your pedals but you're just not happy with the comfort level, you know, this is a great option uh, for sure. And like everything that Simcor makes, it's really high quality. They include all the hardware, everything's ready to go when you purchase these. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, definitely hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more sim racing content.